a hollow circular mild steel column of external diameter 300 mm and internal diameter is 250 mm carries an axial load of 1500 kilo newton determine the compressive stress in the column if the initial length of the column is 3.75 meters find the decrease in length of the column take e is equal to 2 into 10 to the power of 5 newton per mm square here e, e means uh, engs modulus so there is a hollow circular mild steel column let us sketch the diagram there is a hollow circular mild steel column so hollow means it has two diameters so one is internal diameter and this is internal diameter so internal diameter is di and it also has external diameter de it has two diameters internal diameter and external diameter so internal diameter is di and external diameter de internal diameter how much internal diameter you already given 300 sorry 250 mm i think internal diameter is 250 mm internal diameter is 250 mm yes next external diameter de is equal to 300 mm external diameter is 300 mm this is internal diameter this is external diameter and at the same time you given initial length of the column so initial length of the column how much 3.75 meters 3.75 meters so initial length is equal to 3 initial length means gauge length 3.75 meters we know that 1 meter is equal to 1000 mm let us convert meters into mm because all diameter is already in mm millimeters so convert meters into millimeters so l is equal to 3.75 into 1 meter equal to 1000 mm into 1000 mm you will get l is equal to 3750 3750 mm so gauge length of column is 3750 mm initial length or gauge length initial length or gauge length and he also given internal diameter and external diameter and this column is subjected to compressive load this column is subjected to compressive load actually given axial load how do you know whether it is compressive load or tensile load because here we need to find compressive stress in the column he is asking to find compressive stress so compressive stress is developed whenever a body is subjected to compressive load so here this column is subjected to pushing force pushing force means compressive load so okay so due to this pushing i mean compressive load compressive stresses developed in this column so we have to find that compressive stress sigma c means compressive stress compressive stress produced in the column in newton per mm square in newton per mm square or mega pascal okay na so that's why this column is subjected to compressive load because uh, here we need to find compressive stress in the column so compressive uh, whenever uh, a column or a body subjected to compressive load then compressive stress is developed in the body okay so thing no prem develop hotundi compressive stress develop hotundi compressive stress so anyhow compressive uh, stress is equal to compressive load by area compressive load by area so normal area so anyhow here pc is equal to how much compressive load 1500 kilo newton you given 1500 kilo newton so you given how much 1500 kilo newton so pc is equal to 1500 kilo newton means let us convert it into newtons kilo means 10 cube so into 10 cube newton and what about area of the column area is equal to this is this column is in circular cross section so cross section of column is circular cross section that too it's a hollow column so in case of uh, hollow column area is equal to pi by 4 into de square minus di square area is equal to area of circular column is equal to cross section area of circular column is equal to a is equal to pi by 4 into de square minus di square okay na square of uh, external diameter minus square of internal diameter so it so in in general uh, 
in case of uh, solid column cross section area is equal to pi by 4 into d square okay it has only single diameter in case of halo column we have two diameters external and internal okay na? so a is equal to pi by 4 into d e whole square d e how much 300 mm whole square okay na? minus d i 250 mm whole square so 250 whole square and a is equal to if you simplify this you will get area is equal to here i got 21 598.5 mm mm square okay na square mm so area is equal to normal area is equal to 21598.5 mm square okay na this is area of uh, cross sectional area of uh, circular column so we have uh, compressive load now we can find uh, compressive stress in the column okay na? by plugging all uh, by uh, by substituting pc and a we can find uh, sigma c so first uh, Compressive load, sigma compressive stress, sigma C is equal to PC by A. So PC is equal to how much? 1500 into 10 cube newtons by area 21598.5 mm square. Now, what is the unit of first uh, compressive stress? Newton per mm square. Newton per mm square. Okay. No? Now calculate this value. So if you calculate uh, you will get 69.5 newton per mm square approximately you will get sigma c is equal to 69.5 newton per mm square okay next we need to change decrease in length and the next question is decrease in length of column decrease in length of column okay na? due to compressive load there will be a change in length of the column so always this compressive load always uh, produce compressive strain so compressive strain means uh, decrease in length by original length compressive strain is equal to decrease in length by original length so we need decrease in length so decrease in length of column denoted by delta l according to uxla stress is stress is directly proportional to strain okay and to remove proportionality we have to introduce some constant that is n small s. sigma is equal to capital E into epsilon here E is called n small s. okay so here strain is compressive strain strain is equal to change in length by original length and here stress is compressive stress so here delta L is decrease in length of uh, column now transpose L sigma C into division becomes multiplication L into L is equal to e into delta l we need delta l transpose e you will get delta l is equals to sigma c into l by e now delta l is equal to what is sigma c 69.5 newton per mm square and what is l l how much l is equal to 3750 mm length original length of the column by hence modulus 2 into 10 to the power of 5 Newton per mm square. So Newton per mm square, Newton per mm square get cancelled. Delta L is equal to 69.5 into 3750 by 2 into 10 to the power of 5 mm. So length units mm only. So delta L is equal to decrease in length is just calculate uh, uh, value of this. So you will get one point here. I got 1.3022 mm. 1.30 so this is a decrease in length of the column due to compressive load pc pc is equal to 1500 kilonewton 1500 kilonewton compressive load after shade in the length decrease this is decrease in length 